The relationship between Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark and Tom Holland's Peter Parker is one of the best in the MCU. Iron Man mentors the young hero and helps him figure out who he wants to be as Spider-Man. In this video, we're going to look at Tony Stark's 10 best moments that heavily impacted Spider-Man. They say it's the clothes that make the man, and while it's not necessarily true, every hero is made better by having a cool costume. Prior to meeting Tony Stark, Peter was rocking a Spider-Man suit that looked more like 90s workout clothes than anything else. Shortly before the iconic battle in Civil War though, Stark gave Parker the MCU's version of the classic Spider-Man suit. Outside of being much sleeker than his previous attire, it also has many high-tech features to aid him in fighting crime. Chief among these features is Karen, Peter's own personal AI assistant that provides support in a way that's similar to how Jarvis aided Iron Man. It's a pretty consistent theme in superhero stories that anyone can be a hero if they choose to and put in the effort. However, Stark giving Parker this Spider-Man suit made Peter feel like a real hero. It gave him the confidence to stand alongside Iron Man and other heroes as they fought other members of the Avengers. To be clear, Peter could still be a hero if he didn't have the suit that Tony gave him. This enhanced suit does make him a better hero though, and shows just how much he's appreciated and respected by his mentor, Iron Man. At the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, Tony Stark invited Peter Parker to formally join the Avengers. This was a pretty huge deal to the young hero, as he felt it legitimized his work as Spider-Man and that he was on track to gain the same respect and admiration as other heroes. Ultimately, he turned the invitation down though, as he felt that he more wanted to better his community as Spider-Man rather than fight evil around the globe. The invitation still meant a lot to Peter and helped him form his superhero identity. Basically, it gave him the ability to choose what kind of hero he wanted to be. In this instance, Peter decided to work on improving his community instead of pursuing worldwide fame and admiration. This is a pretty big deal because his small-scale heroics were previously a point of frustration for him. Now though, he realizes that he wants to be a smaller-scale hero and isn't a lesser hero for making a difference on a low Local level. Of course, this invitation also makes clear that Peter does have the respect and appreciation of his fellow heroes anyway. Tony inviting Peter to join the Avengers gave him the chance to figure out what he wanted to do as Spider-Man, and that's a pretty big change in the character. Peter Parker's superhero career really started taking off when Tony Stark recruited the young man to fight in Captain America Civil War. Not only did this recruitment prove that Tony Stark believed in him, it also gave the young hero a chance to face off against more established heroes. Basically, he got a shot to step into the big leagues and prove himself as a hero. He was happy to prevent crime and accidents in his community, but didn't really have the confidence to do much more than that. His encounter with Iron Man changed that though, and it was the beginning of Parker growing as a person and a hero. This recruitment is pretty much the start of Tony Stark mentoring Peter Parker, and it monumentally affected the young man. It was the start of Parker gaining more self-esteem and figuring out how he can do the most good with his Spider-Man powers and persona. If not for this meeting, Spider-Man could never have become the major character he is today in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Parker also would have likely lacked the confidence to face off against Thanos and his army like he did in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Tony Stark taking away the advanced Spider-Man suit that he gave to Peter also had a tremendous impact on the novice hero. Even if his heart was in the right place, Parker disobeyed Stark's orders when he tried to single-handedly stop the smuggling of alien weaponry. During an impassioned exchange, the two get into what it means to be a hero. Peter thinks he needs the advanced suit to really be Spider-Man and that his efforts are all but fruitless without it. Stark points out that if he doesn't think that he can be a hero without the suit, then he doesn't deserve to have it in the first place. Taking the suit away forces Peter to reevaluate what it means to be Spider-Man and how he can use his powers responsibly. Taking the suit away forced Peter to learn that he really is a hero. Losing the suit and rising to the occasion to battle the Vulture anyway made Peter realize that he's already a hero and doesn't need anyone else to make him one. He gained the confidence to stand on his own and determine what kind of change in the world he wanted to make with his heroics as Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Iron Man's romp through space is pretty enjoyable and entertaining right up until Spider-Man is turned to dust in the snap. 
Before we reach that point though, we get a number of scenes that show the veteran and newcomer hero bonding and growing closer. One of the best moments of the two characters growing closer happens after they board one of the Blackwater spaceships and prepare to face Ebony Maw. After chastising Peter for boarding the ship, the two discuss possible strategies for defeating the space wizard. After thinking about it for a little bit, Peter draws on the movie Aliens to take out the villain. The two heroes then proceed to defeat the evil wizard by blowing a hole in the side of the ship and forcing the villain into the vacuum of space. This moment is pretty meaningful to Spider-Man for a number of reasons. In this moment, he and Tony Stark grow closer over their mutual appreciation of a classic film and also take down a villain together for the first time. Iron Man also shows a great deal of respect to Peter by letting the younger hero formulate and execute his own battle plan. The two come and work together like they never have before in this moment, and that surely gives Parker an emotional boost. At the beginning of Spider-Man Homecoming, we see some of the events of Captain America's Civil War from Peter Parker's perspective. This includes him traveling to Germany, donning his high-tech spider suit, him commenting on the battle, and he and Tony sharing a ride back to Queens. It's a great way to establish Parker's status as someone pretty new to the world of heroics and still trying to find his footing as a hero. When he's dropped off outside of Aunt May's apartment, he and Tony Stark have a discussion about what the future of their partnership will look like. At the end of it, Peter hugs his mentor thinking that's what the wiser hero wanted. However, Stark was merely reaching across the car in an effort to open Peter's door. This is a pretty fun moment in the movie and definitely hilarious. It also shows the dynamic between the two characters and shows what Peter wants out of their relationship. It's clear here that he's looking for a father figure, even if he may not have realized what he wanted until this point. This hug is impactful to both characters and sets the tone for the entirety of their relationship going forward. In Avengers Endgame, Tony is pretty reluctant to join the other Avengers in trying to restore all the lives that perished in the snap. After all, the mission is extremely dangerous, has a low chance of success, and he has built a pretty good life for himself after the tragedy. It's totally understandable that he wouldn't want to jeopardize his pretty great life with his wife and daughter against such slim odds. Then, he sees a photo of Peter Parker and changes his mind. Seeing the picture of Peter reminded Tony that he did lose quite a bit in the snap. Peter was like a son to him, and Tony decides to risk everything in order to bring the young man back to life. It's a really powerful moment for Iron Man and really cements his nature as a self-sacrificing hero. Of course, his decision to go on Operation Time Heist is a pretty big deal for Peter Parker too. While it didn't really affect Spider-Man emotionally, it did create a physical change in the character. Parker would still be a pile of dust if Iron Man didn't decide to help the other Avengers. So this definitely counts as Spider-Man's mentor having a big impact on the hero's life. Spider-Man and Iron Man's departure for space also had a pretty sizable impact on their relationship. After fighting off Thanos' forces in New York, the two attempt to rescue Doctor Strange from the ship that brought the aliens. As the ship leaves Earth's atmosphere, Spider-Man struggles to cling to the exterior and nearly falls to his demise. However, Iron Man intervenes and equips Peter with the Iron Spider suit. This lets Parker breathe in space, equips him with useful mechanical spider legs, and grants him even greater combat prowess. Basically, it's a massive upgrade that makes this superhero even more... super. However, this suit also means a lot symbolically. It shows that Tony Stark is thinking of Peter when they aren't together and is developing equipment to help him be a better hero. He worries about Peter and wants him to be safe even though he knows that as a hero, Peter will always put himself in harm's way. That's why Stark told Parker not to follow him into space, but is quick to understand why the young hero disobeyed his orders. It's clear that Spider-Man is grateful that Iron Man is looking out for him, and that's why he tries so hard to be successful in the eyes of the senior hero. During the climactic final battle in Avengers Endgame, all of the heroes from the Marvel Cinematic Universe join in the fight against Thanos' army. In the midst of this epic combat though, Peter Parker and Tony Stark reunite. Back from the dusting, Spider-Man describes that strange experience and how he returned to Earth. In response, Iron Man just hugs his people. 
Happy to see him again after five long years. While this reunion is clearly a big deal to Stark, it's also pretty impactful for Parker. Tony hugging the young hero is the most outward display of affection and appreciation that he ever expressed towards the young hero. In this moment, he finally got the hug that he was denied at the beginning of Spider-Man Homecoming. It's clear in this moment that Tony is embracing his role as a father figure to Peter, and that's what the young hero always wanted out of their relationship. This is a fantastic moment in the movie, and it means a lot to Spider-Man that Iron Man can finally admit how much he cares about and appreciates the young hero. The end of Avengers Infinity War contains what might be the most heartbreaking scene in the entirety of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. After failing to stop the Mad Titan, Thanos snaps his fingers and obliterates half of all life in the universe. Helpless to stop this event, all Peter Parker can do is tell his mentor that he doesn't want to go and apologize as he slowly turns to dust in Tony Stark's arms. While this is clearly a hard-hitting moment for Iron Man, it's also a pretty big moment for Spider-Man. In his final moments, all he can think to do is say that he's sorry for passing away. He knows that Tony is going to blame himself for the event, and feels bad that his mentor will have to endure the feeling of loss. Even as he's fading out of existence, Spider-Man still cares about what Iron Man is going through and is trying to make his life better. This incredibly somber moment really drives home the father-son relationship between the two characters. This is perhaps the most important moment these two characters ever shared together and completely crystallized how they feel about each other. It's as impressive as it is emotional and forever changed Spider-Man as a character. What do you think of these Spider-Man, Iron Man mentor moments? Please let us know in the comment section down below. While you're there, be sure to like this video, subscribe to The Binger, and click on that bell icon so that you can catch all of our upcoming Marvel-centric videos.